All right, here it is again. S10 V8 swap. <clears throat> all right, so this is the bell housing uh, that I was talking about. Got it back. It's all welded up. All right, so now the model on it, turn it up here for you, is 3840383. All right, this, um, I don't remember what it was off of, to be honest. Um, we bought we when we bought it uh we were we were looking for a part number so <clears throat> uh that's unfortunately the way we found it so i mean if you want to take a good look at it you're more than welcome to if you have some questions or anything i'll answer them for you um obviously it is upside down <laughs> but uh there we go okay so it's you know as you can see, the bolt pattern is a V8 bolt pattern. I would assume this is, you know, maybe like something from the 80s, maybe an El Camino or something like that. It's definitely not a Camaro. It's definitely not a Firebird. <clears throat> um, and I can tell you that right now because the one we had didn't work. Now, um, when this sits in, the way this is lined up, the bolts obviously line up. <clears throat> But the way this bell housing sits, the transmission is actually going to be twisted. It's going to be towards the passenger seat. In the Firebird and the Camaro, it was twisted towards the driver's seat. I don't know why they do that. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do. I'm sure you can buy a special shifter if you'd like. But uh, that's what it is. But anyway, so what we did was... All right, now... Let's see if I can... Hopefully I don't ruin anything here. Yeah, I don't really want to tip this over right now okay um the clutch fork is really just connected to the bolt but um okay so this was a hole um and uh this one was the pivot point so the other clutch fork worked differently it worked on a different pivot so um what we did was my buddy dave Save the day. He saved the day. Dave saved the day. He welded a new pivot point on. Okay. And now when the clutch moves, sorry. I'm not a cameraman, I'm a DIY guy. I don't know. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, he put the, uh, just like one of these type things. It's not the original because obviously this is the original, but uh, he just put a bolt there, you know, one of the pivot bolts, and uh, eh, I don't want to mess with it. It's on there good. I don't want to mess with it, but uh, and then he welded the aluminum. Okay, so now when it sits in there, okay. The slave cylinder is going to be over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a bracket. So it's going to you know we're going to uh, bolt the transmission to the bell housing, and on on the other so it'll be bell housing transmission, and then we're going to make a bracket, and the bracket's going to go from the this top bolt to the bottom bolt, and it's just going to have two holes in it and be a piece of metal, and drill a hole in it so that the uh, slave cylinder can sit in it and bolt up to it and then the slave cylinder will push on the clutch and the clutch will work so wish us luck but this is what we're doing and I will make a video either as we do it or when it's done and um, you can also check out my other video on Tim's S10 um, he's the one came up with all this and his truck was already done and running and this is how he did it so i said i was going to make a video explaining a little better and that's what it is on the on tim's you can see he put a huge block here but you didn't need to do that um you just needed to weld it in and um there you go um maybe a little, tiny bit of jb weld on the other side so that it uh has something for the transmission to sit on but um 
That's only because, you know, you can see, you know, that little weld. But it's just for a little pivot point, so it shouldn't be any issues. And it's, it is screwed in there. So he did tap it, drill it, screw it in. Um, and he had to grind all this other stuff out of there. I'm sorry, that's what I didn't explain. As you can see, all that stuff was grinded out. So there's plenty of room for the pivot point. That's what friends are for. So tomorrow I'll be getting at this. I'll be bolting this up, slipping the transmission into it, and uh, see how much we can get done tomorrow. Thanks for watching.